welcome back to my channel today is monday i had a super chill week last week we were up at the cottage all week it was such a nice little break and i am excited to get back to work this week today i'm starting the week off by doing some filming a few weeks ago i worked on a collab with a clothing brand uh, called Zafira. I worked on a shoot with them and the owner of the brand messaged me and Alicia, my hairdresser who also worked on the collab on the weekend and asked if we wanted to film some stuff for their Instagram to go up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So I'm gonna actually go to Alicia's salon. It's a Monday, so the salon I think is closed. I don't think anybody will be there. And we're gonna film a little bit of content. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna film. I'm gonna bring my makeup. I'm gonna do Alicia's makeup and she's gonna do my hair, but I'm not sure like the style of the videos that we're gonna end up doing. They didn't really give any like specifics. So I guess we'll just kind of talk it out when I get there. So I'm just getting ready to head over there. I'm supposed to be there around two. The shoot that we did was pretty glam. And I think what I'm gonna be doing to record today is recreating one of the looks that I did on one of the models. I did not take care of my skin at all last week. So I have all this congestion and like these breakouts down on my chin and I did a ton of skincare this morning, tried to pump a ton of moisture into it and even so, it's feeling pretty dry and dull today. So definitely gonna have to amp that up with a little bit of glowy makeup so that we look nice and fresh and hydrated and healthy and glowy, all the good things. Let's do this thing. I'm not gonna put on a lip because I have to wear my mask to get down to my car, but I will put one on for filming. I'll just use one from my kit. Um, this is everything. I just realized I forgot blush, so let me just pop on a little blush. This is Love Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I also realized I forgot lashes, so I put on some lashes too, and now, the look is done. I don't know, I think I was just like eager to get it over with. I just didn't really feel like doing my makeup today. I wasn't feeling inspired. This is kind of like my go-to Charlotte Tilbury glam, like when I'm working with Charlotte Tilbury and I just like am getting ready for work. This is kind of the go-to look for that. Because I haven't been putting lashes on that often anymore, I've been finding whenever I do put them on, the inner corners do not want to stick down there we go okay 
I'm gonna make myself some food really quickly and then I'm going to head out. harsh lighting. I just got home. It's like 5.30. Everything went really well, hopefully. I'm going to edit all the footage now, put everything together, and then get it sent over to Zafira. And yeah, they'll post it on their Instagram tomorrow. I hope there's some good stuff. I don't know, we filmed for a couple hours and I've never really filmed with another person before. So like I film a lot by myself talking to the camera. I'm pretty like comfortable with this at this point, but filming with another person was fun and Alicia was a good person to do it with but I don't know if like I was weird I don't know we'll see once I look at the footage yeah let's go upstairs <laughs> So I just spent the last two hours filming. I filmed two videos and I filmed a TikTok. And now I'm going to unbox a couple of packages with you guys. I have been waiting to open some of this stuff so that we could do it together. So the first package that I'm gonna open is from Shein. I have never ordered off Shein before. I'm nervous because it has like Boohoo pricing. And if you guys watched my Boohoo haul, then you know that I hate them. <laughs> They just suck, you know, it's like not even worth the cheap amount of money that you pay for their stuff So I was a little bit nervous, but they had some cute things on there and I looked up a couple of reviews So one thing that I really liked about the Shein website compared to the Boohoo website is that on Shein They had reviews so they had people who like took pictures of their clothes in real life so you could see what like the clothes actually looked like not just like the professional photos on the website and then people give reviews so in terms of like sizing whether it fits like big or small or true to size and then like the quality and any other like gripes or pros of the clothes so i really liked that they had reviews on there so the first thing i got is actually for jackie and it is part of her birthday present so i'm not going to show it just in case i don't get to give it to her before this video goes up although i'm hoping to see her this week um the second thing that i got is a set yay so you guys know i've been looking for his tie-dye set something like cozy and comfy and cute for the winter so i ended up getting this one right here so there are pants and a sweater <laughs> i got both i was i made sure of it this time so this is what the top looks like i got mine in size us size six and you can see it looks pretty big. So it's supposed to be like oversized, um, which is why I went for the six, which is my normal size up top. And then here are the pants. We have a fake drawstring. I was trying to read in the reviews about the drawstring um, and no one really said anything about it. But let me just show you guys the band. So usually when pants have a fake drawstring, they have one like tiny little elastic band around the outside edge and that like rolls up and is so uncomfortable and tight. This one seems like it's a lot of a thicker elastic band in there. So hopefully it's a little bit more comfortable. I'll have to try them on. I liked them because they were cuffed on the bottom. And they had these in a bunch of different colors and I went for this like lilac -y pink color. So I'll try those on for you in one second. The other thing that I got from Shein is a pair of boots. So I have to wear like black shoes to work and in the winter in Toronto, basically my only option is like booties. 
and the booties that I have are too small for me and I've literally worn them to work for two years and they hurt my feet so much so I wanted to get a new pair of boots and then I thought that these would be cute for like going out and stuff too like if I'm going to dinner with my girlfriends or something um, I thought that these were super cute so they do have a little bit of a heel on them but my shifts are pretty short these days and they have the um, thick part at the front too so even though it has a heel it's not that much because of the thickness that's added to the front part of the shoe as well but these are what they look like they're actually very cute they're cuter than I thought they were gonna be I like the like chunky vibes they have a zip on the side to get into them super cute so far I'm very impressed with this stuff for the price I'll have to try it on I'm sure they won't last for a long time but I think they're super cute and stylish and yeah I like them a lot hopefully they fit I'll try them on in a second here so that was everything I got from Shein see not too much and then the other package that I have is from Zara <laughs> so I have two winter jackets i have my parka which is for like minus 30 degree weather and then i have a little like velvety velour one let me show you so this is the other jacket that i have so this is super cute i got this from m a couple of years ago and i love it um, it's pretty warm but it's pretty thin so i wanted something for like in between when i can wear this in like minus five and then usually once it gets like colder than that i have to switch to my parka and then i'm wearing my parka for like the whole winter and yeah i just wanted like an in-between jacket so i wanted to get either like a pea coat style jacket or a black bomber and i went with a bomber so i actually ordered two from zara it's the same jacket i just got it in two different sizes to see how i liked it So this is what it looks like it's got the like puffy high neck cuffs on the sleeves so this is the size large so i just wanted to show you guys like some of the details there's the little zipper and it has these little drawstrings on the bottom okay so here's the size large i actually quite like it it feels very comfortable I like having bigger winter jackets because then I can wear like sweaters and stuff under them. And then I do like like the oversized vibe. So, super cute. Quite like, I like when the sleeves are like a little bit longer too. And then this is the medium. This one feels actually pretty good too. I think this one looks a little bit cuter, but like comfort wise. So yeah, I don't know which one I'll keep. Even the medium has the long sleeves, which is really nice. I really love that. I'll probably try them on with like a sweater or something underneath um, and then decide from there because I think I like the way that this one looks better, but I wanna make sure it's comfortable let me try on this set from Shein now. Okay, so here is the set from Shein. It fits perfect. Pants are like a higher waist, which I like. It's so much more comfortable that way. There's pockets, so although there's no drawstring, there is pockets. It has the drop sleeve, which is what I was looking for. I really like how the shoulder comes all the way down here and yeah I like this a lot I feel like it's perfect it's not too thick it's not too thin cute color Shein for the win okay so maybe I'll order a few more things off there they've been sending me so many emails since I did my order they're literally sending me emails like Black Friday sale 50 cents like they have stuff on there for 50 cents okay so <laughs> maybe I'll look into a few more things but yeah super cute okay guys so that's all the like worky stuff that i was like wanting to get done for the day i'm probably gonna do a little bit of editing now i'm going to figure out what jacket i want to keep i'm gonna do laundry we need laundry so bad and that's what i'm gonna be doing with the rest of my day so i'll catch up with you guys when i catch up with you You don't even know me like that Are you past fun?
time Put you on my mind Come a little closer like that Staying up all night Throwing drinks by probably afternoon now I am just getting ready to head out of the house I'm just gonna run a couple of errands I need to go to the bank I have a bunch of cash that I need to deposit so that I can pay off my MacBook that I bought and I need to go to Zara and return that other jacket that I showed you guys yesterday I am gonna go with the medium the large just I feel like it loses its like it's cozy and comfy but i feel like it loses its shape like really it doesn't look as like it looks like i'm wearing will's jacket kind of you know so i'm gonna go with the medium it fits like perfect and yeah so i gotta return the other one and then i'm probably gonna grab a few groceries while i'm out because we have nothing and we need to do a big shop but i don't think will's gonna have time to do that today so i'm just gonna grab a few things to get us through the next couple days and yeah that's what i have going on today <laughs> Look what I just found. It's a thumb hole. I have literally been obsessed with thumb holes for my entire life. I believe my mother can attest to the fact that I used to literally like push my thumbs through regular sweaters that didn't have thumb holes so that they would have them. I'm, I'm very happy with my purchase. It's so cute. Okay, we're leaving now. I'm searching for more do it an exchange. <laughs> I did get one thing. I'll show it to you when I get home. But yeah. So much cute stuff in there right now. having a meeting in the other room but I just wanted to check in with you I just spent the last two hours filming Will's mom came by this morning to drop off a few things and she gave us these chips that I'm eating they're so good covered bridge smoke and sweet barbecue and they're vegan it's hard to find vegan barbecue chips and they're really yummy I'm about to head out again today I'm going shopping for a birthday gift for my girlfriend. So every year 
I have four, there's four of us, four friends, and the three of us will come together and pitch on like a nicer gift for the person whose birthday it is. So I'm going with Sabrina today to pick up a gift for our friend Courtney. We know where we're going, we know what we're gonna get her. I'm not gonna say anything here in case we don't get to see her, but we're supposed to be getting together tomorrow. Um, we have plans to go and sit on a patio, even though it is the middle of November, depending on the weather and then also depending on the lockdown. There are rumors that Toronto is gonna go back into full lockdown. I'm currently locked down, as in like I'm not allowed to be working right now, but restaurants are still open, gyms are open. They only opened up on the 14th and today is the 19th. So, I mean, it didn't last very long, but I think they're gonna go into like a more full extreme lockdown, more similar to the type of one that we had in the summer, like back in March and April. So if that happens on Friday, then obviously we won't be able to get together and do our little patio situation, but hopefully we will. So I just wanted to jump on here and say, hey, happy Thursday and uh, show you guys my makeup. It's for my four part little look series that I did. I also filmed an empties video, which I know is um, a favorite for you all. That'll actually be up already. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link it across the top here. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. the afternoon now that's happened a couple of times this week already it's about 1 30 i woke up this morning and i edited my video that's supposed to be going up tonight and uh, i've been doing some posting on instagram and just doing some like online work and i'm gonna get up now and go and run some errands two of my best friends have their birthdays two weeks apart in november uh, one's on the 15th, one's on the 30th, so always on the weekend in between we do a little birthday celebration um, and they kind of combine their birthdays. This year obviously it's going to have to be a lot smaller than usual. Um, it's like a 15 degree day outside, it's beautiful and sunny. We are planning to go to a patio nearby for drinks. There's one up the street from me that is covered and it has heaters and you can feel the heat from out on the street, so hopefully it'll be like bearable the fact that we're going to a patio on like at the end of november is crazy to me but this is the new world and then i think we're going to come back here and have some drinks at my house as well i want to like do just a few little decorations around the house i want to clean my house i want to make some fun drinks like cocktails for us tonight so i need to get ingredients for that i want to get some snacks um i need to get ice just like a few things that i'm going to pick up so we're going to go out and run a few errands and i'll bring you guys along for that so i'm going to get up now jump in the shower and we'll get moving on all of that stuff okay we are sitting outside of tori's bake shop in the beaches in toronto it took me an hour to get here because when i was like right by my house someone freaking crashed into me like it wasn't serious i was just uh, stopped at a red light and they were pulling up in the lane next to me. It was this little old lady and she like pulled up like right beside my car and she just like dragged her car along my car. So I had to deal with that. Her car had like a lot of damage on it, but it looks like ours doesn't somehow. Um, it's kind of dirty, so I need to clean it and make sure, but I think everything's fine. And then it was like a 30 minute drive through crazy traffic to get here. I'm at Tori's Bake Shop because they are a vegan and possibly gluten-free, I don't know, a bakery in Toronto that is so good. They're in the East End in the beaches, like I said. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna get some little desserties for my girlies for their birthdays. And yeah, let me just get in there and do that because I'm kind of anxious from sitting in the car and like going through all that shit. So let me just go get this done. Okay, I'm back. So I got four cupcakes, some chocolate and vanilla. They were almost out of everything except they had cupcakes, which is what I actually went in there for. And I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything. I had like one and a half pieces of toast for breakfast this morning at like nine. So I grabbed this too, Cool Ranch Wrap. I think it was probably like $10 or something ridiculous. I'm gonna eat this and sit in my car right here. I totally forgot to pay for parking when I went in there, but I was really quick, so no issues. 
Ugh, I think I feel like especially anxious because well like I just got freaking hit by someone but also I drank a coffee this morning and then I've hardly like eaten anything today and I'm like so sensitive to caffeine so I grabbed my planner so I would have a list of everything I needed to do while I was out but it's not here so I must have forgot it by the front door okay after I eat this I'm going to go to the liquor store. That's the next most important thing. I'm going to get some vodka so I can make some, um, like, lemonade cocktails. Okay. Um, let me eat this, and then I'll catch up with you guys at the liquor store. We're home. I did a little bit of cleaning. I hung up this cute little banner that I have. This is the shirt that I got from Zara, by the way. I said I would show you guys and I never did. So I'm just making some dinner, just making a quick Mr. Needle situation. And then the girls are gonna be here in a little bit. And we're gonna celebrate their birthday and it's gonna be a great night. Hello, it's actually Sunday today. I ended up having a hangover day yesterday. That's what I just like to call it. I wasn't super hungover or anything, but I just had like a really chill day of like Netflix and bed and it was awesome. Friday night with my girlfriends was really fun. Like literally the best night. Uh, we did not end up going to the patio. We just stayed at my house and had drinks and snacks and it was such a good time. This morning, Will and I got up and went to the grocery store. You guys saw it is snowing like crazy outside right now we had a bunch of plans a bunch of errands to do we were gonna go get my ring resized we were gonna go get the car wash so that we could check on any damage from the little accident that i had on friday um but everything had to wait because of the snow because we don't have winter tires put on the car yet so we need to get the winter tires done this week i'm just editing this video and getting it ready to put up for you guys and i wanted to come on and say goodbye thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it too i can't believe this is my 40th toronto weekly vlog that's a pretty big number i'm also so close to 400 subscribers on youtube i'm at 397 right now i had a goal for 2020 which was to double my subscriber count and i had 200 going into the year so 400 is going to be me checking off my like big goal for the year and that's gonna happen uh probably before it even hits december so i'm super excited about that i've just been like refreshing 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 like counting them as they come in if you're not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe maybe you'll be my 400th subscriber and you'll bring me so much joy and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys